in a connection with the Missouri S&T Experimental Mine. This week we have the Missouri Mine Rescue Association 40th Annual Mine Rescue Competition that's held here at the mine. This is the only underground mine used as a competition that I know of in the U.S. We have nine teams. They are competing two days of underground scenarios for uh, search and rescue of miners. And then on the third day, doing first aid scenario. This kind of opportunity is a fantastic uh, way that they can hone their skills. Oftentimes you hear military people going into combat situations and they say, I just fall back on my training. Same way here. When you get into an intense situation, adrenaline takes over, you have difficulty thinking about what you're doing, but when you've gone through this training, you fall back on your training and you just do what you know you're trained to do. Teams are now brought down one at a time and they're given the briefing initially and then they're to run the course through the mine. Uh, during that time, they're involved with rescuing any victims that are, are recoverable. Uh, they're identifying any victims that uh, may not be recoverable. They're also dealing with fire, smoke, mine gases, and a number of different things, changing ventilation and working the mine to make the situation safe. The, the families of the miners, they want to have somebody there that knows what they're doing when they go into a mine and can save their family members. Do we ever want to have to call our mine rescue team? No, but boy, it's awful nice to have.